let's see if the garbage dudes picked up all my garbage. Oh, sweet, they did. Toasty. The Snow Series engine comes with a primer for starting in cold weather and it also comes with a secondary key or a secondary ignition kill system. We don't need either of these things and we don't have a place to put them on this cover. We will now have the same choking system and same uh, engine shutoff system, engine control system that we did originally. There we have it. The choke is now fully functional as well as the engine control and we also have a fuel shut off on this one. So there it is, 100% ready to go. So we'll be selling this at some point. Let's see if I can figure out what's wrong with this guy. Little yard works generator. boot here. The first thing we're going to do is find out if it has fire. You guys definitely won't be able to see this, but you might be able to hear it. It has fire. Somebody's already been in here, obviously. These, uh, Nuts were already loose, they were just finger tight. We've got quick start in the fuel system and we've got ignition. So if it doesn't start, all right, well, that was a good sign. That means we could have a perfectly good generator once we clean up the fuel system. easiest 
thing first, I'll pinch off the fuel line and pull the float bowl off and see what's going on in there. Probably not a good idea to set my camera on a box. I don't think it didn't do anything to it. I'm going to pull the bolt out of the bottom of the float bowl and see what kind of see what kind of garbage we have in there. drained out the float bowl. It didn't actually look that bad so I think what I'll do is put the float bowl back on, put some fresh fuel in it and see what happens. Probably shouldn't have put that much since I don't know if it's even going to work. I noticed when I was looking at the other side this actually has a fuel pump. Alright this might get a little bit messy. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Alright, so it is pumping, and the stuff that it's pumping through looks pretty nasty. It's very yellow, so I'm going to try to keep it running with the ether until we get uh, clean gas pumping through. I'm going to turn on my ventilation fan so that I don't suffocate. Again, this time we're going to let it uh, try to run off of its own fuel. Alright, we'll give this one more try. Turn the engine on. This time, once we get it running, I'll try out the uh, impact and see if it works.
So in the next few days, I may be able to try to put a new surface on this head. Um, I'm still going to touch it up a bit, but that's the basic shape of it. I'll just take it out of the cutter here. I still have to touch it up a little bit on the honing stone, but uh, I'll just take it out and show you guys the basic shape of it. This is the cutting face. It's the clearance angle cut on the bottom, and there is the clearance angle cut on the face. Anyway, I believe it should do quite a good job. I think that was a fairly productive day. Got a few things done and uh, didn't even leave too big of a mess. While I'm looking over here with the camera, my eyes are looking over there and I'm noticing all the empty space I have on that shelf. Why is that shelf empty when I have so much stuff on the ground? Anyway, that's it for today's video. So I will see you guys next time.